guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the body to be down here, Michael, on this Friday afternoon. First things first, it's going to be a little louder in here from now on. I got a fan out in the utility room sitting up on the washer and dryer that's blowing air from the little air unit that's in the window in here. So, yeah, I went out last night and bought me a big old fan, and it is loud. But that's life. We're going to have to deal with it. So it does feel quite a bit better in here at this point. And uh, that's how we're going to roll for right now anyway. So today is my second chest day. And it's also this whole week has been all dumbbells. So today is my second chest day. We're going to be doing flat dumbbell presses. And also, I'm going to be doing some back. It's a movement that you may have never done, you may have never seen, and you, have, and you haven't seen me do it in probably two years or longer. I don't know. It's been a long time. But I call those bent lat raises, bent lateral raises where you bend over and you do like so. And it's a good upper back movement, back shoulders, the back of the delts, all that shoulder area in the back up in there and uh, so we're going to be doing that as well today and uh, yeah so I'm ready to get going and get this week over with so I can relax for a couple days all right so let's get going with the flat dumbbell presses and uh, see what we can get done hope you enjoy the video guys All right, let's start with the 50s, warming up. Set number two, 50 pound dumbbells. Set number one of the 100 pound dumbbells. Set number two, 100 pound dumbbells. <laughs> Set number three, 100 pound dumbbells. Alright guys, let's start the uh, bent side laterals. We're doing these for the upper back 
and the rear delt today, starting out with 20 pound dumbbells. When you're sitting down, you gotta make sure that you're up away from your bench because the dumbbells will hit the bench if you're not far up enough. So, you'll see what I mean. Let's do 25 pounds. All right, we're going to 30 pound dumbbells. Going back down, 25 pound dumbbells. Going back down, final set, 20 pound dumbbells. All right guys, and we're gonna do some extra stuff today. Just two more sets of some different movements. Uh, we're going to do some sitting simultaneous dumbbell curls. We're going to do the 25 pound dumbbells. I'm just doing one set just to pump the arms up a little bit and uh, to do a little extra today. So let's get that going. Simultaneous. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, guys, we're on to our final little extra movement. We're going to do the triceps. We're going to do the one dumbbell, two hand French press. 50 pound dumbbell. go guys just a little bit of extra for the day makes you feel good all right guys there you go we are done with not only another day but we're done with another week and again I'm sorry for the loud fan but it's a must so hope you can handle it it's only gonna be for about nine months out of the year so <laughs> Unless we fall into some money and I can get a window and an air unit thrown in here, uh, we're just going to have to deal with it. So, anyway. So, pretty good little workout. I'm very happy with what I did. And uh, this whole week was a nice change to things. And uh, going into next week, you know, going back to the normal workout uh, routines and all that. Um, I might incorporate some new stuff in. I might have to take something out. Squats? I don't know. Uh, I'll have to. I'm gonna have to think about the whole squat situation. Cause uh, with my bad back and my bad hips and my bad pelvic area and all that and everything, it's uh, all these. Uh, I think the heavy squats are kind of taking a toll on me. But. Uh, 
I'll have to evaluate that as I go into next week and see how I feel and what have you. So, you know, sometimes you got to change things up, guys. And uh, I have nothing left to prove for squats. I got my goal to 405, and I got 425. So, I'm not, and I've done them multiple times now. Nothing to prove. And, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna magically grow Mr. Olympia legs anyway. So. Just reaching the goal itself was amazing and something I never thought would happen. So I'm pretty happy. But we'll, we'll evaluate things as we go in to next week. And uh, been doing the back, uh, the bent over uh, lateral raises. A uh, word of advice to you is, uh, again, make sure you're sitting out far enough from the bench. Now, you can do these standing up and bending over. But I'm, I, I like sitting down a lot. Oh, well. But make sure you're scooted out so your dumbbells aren't hitting the bench. So make sure you're kind of scooted way out there on your bench. And also, number two, uh, you can move your arms. I'm not going to be able to show you probably like this, but when you're bent over, you can, you can move your arm position from here to here to here and everywhere in between. And you can feel it hitting just differently all along the back and the rear delts and everything, especially when you come up and really hit that squeeze, even if it's just for a boom that long, you can really feel the differences in all the steps, all the different positions that you can do those in. So give them a try if you've not done them, or if you have done them, try them again. And then throwing in the little extra one set a piece of the bicep and the tricep, that was just a little bit of icing on the cake. Uh, nothing spectacular as far as what I did. I wasn't going for anything stupid. I just wanted to do something a little extra, and that's all it takes. Just a little something extra, and it can make you feel quite a bit better. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this week. Uh, change of routine, uh, working out with dumbbells the whole week. I uh, hope maybe I gave you some uh, ideas to maybe do something different yourself. And uh, also, maybe I uh, gave you some inspiration. Those of you out there who maybe don't do anything, or those that do, uh, maybe to do something. Uh, maybe to work out a little bit, or spin on your bike, or get a heavy bag, and hit the heavy bag. Go for a walk, go for a jog, go play some tennis, go shoot some hoops, go put some golf, go bowling, go play some billiards, throw some darts. I like darts. I don't have no room for my dartboard, but I love darts. Uh, all kind of stuff, guys. There's all kind of stuff you can do. You can plant a garden. You can clean your house. You can take a shower. Sometimes that's the hardest thing for us to do is to take care of ourselves like that. Those of us that go through depression. And uh, sometimes just taking a shower is an accomplishment in and of itself. Anyway, if I inspire you to do some of these things, please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beat Down. That's me, Michael. You're once again glad to be done host and now to go cook my big fat bison burgers. Bison burgers for the win. All right, guys. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beat Down. That's me, Michael. You're an incredible host. Yada, yada. I think I already said that. Now get up, get out, get red, and do it to it. We'll see you next time on the Body Beat Down. See y'all later. Get up, get out, get around and do it, do it! <laughs>